as you all know, DeepSeek R1 recently got released and was a big hit as it crashed markets for its competitors. But what if I told you one of the most powerful AI search engines like Perplexity now has DeepSeek R1 integrated in it. And this R1 model is hosted in the US, so you don't need to worry about your data being stolen or unsecured. For those of you who don't know what Perplexity is, Perplexity is one of the most powerful AI search engines and I've covered multiple videos about Perplexity over at my YouTube channel. And if you're wondering whether you have to pay to use Perplexity, well, they have a standard plan which is completely free where you get three pro searches per day and they have a pro plan which is $20 a month where you have 300 plus pro searches per day. But I think if you're just starting out with Perplexity, you should go with the standard plan and once you're satisfied, you can move to the pro plan. Now you must be wondering why am I so excited about Perplexity having R1. If I click here, we can have web search with the reasoning model R1. But if I go back to ChatGPT, here on ChatGPT, you can see that I'm on a plus account and I'm using the advanced reasoning, but I do not have the search capability here. That's why I'm so excited about perplexity because you can get reasoning with web search. So with that said, I wanna get started with this. So let's go with our first prompt. So my first prompt goes like, how might these substantial investments in AI by Amazon, Microsoft influence their long-term stock valuations? As you all know that Amazon, Microsoft, and all those big companies have invested a lot in the AI market, but now we have a competitive threat which is DeepSeek, as DeepSeek is way cheaper. Now for the investors, what factors should investors analyze to assess the potential risk and returns associated with investments? And should I invest in these companies? So this is a lot for DeepSeek to reason with, and I'm open to surprises. So let's go. So it's going through all this reasoning. As you can see, it's analyzing the competitive threat posed by companies like DeepSeek, identifying the factors investors should analyze, and then it is synthesizing and gathering information to provide insights. So it's going through all these sources here. As you can see, it went through 32 sources as of now, just for the first thought process. Now it's on the second thought process and the third one. And it already went through 45 sources, which we can see right here. So these are the 45 sources that it went through to actually generate this output, which is really worth considering. So we have the answer. So here is the impact on investment on stock valuations. Then it goes on and explain the potential positive effects like revenue growth, market positioning, and the risk for competition. And if you scroll all the way down here, here is my answer that whether should I invest or not in Amazon and Microsoft. So it's saying that both companies are making strategic moves that could yield high returns if their investment in AI pays off. However, they also face significant risks from competition and market dynamics. As you all know, when DeepSeek got launched, it crashed the US market. Now, the best part about perplexity that I love is that it gives us related questions that we can ask and continue the thread. So let's assume that I'm an investor. So I would love to have the answer to this question. How might the competitive threat from DeepSeek influence the long-term stock valuations of Amazon and Microsoft? So let's just click here. And this is the beauty of perplexity. You don't have to think much. It even gives you related questions. So there you go. It goes on and reasons. So it's analyzing how the competitive threat from DeepSeek could impact long-term stock. Then it's gathering insights on investor sentiment and going through all these sources. So it went through 34 sources. And if I click here, I can see all the sources right here. And I can choose any of the sources that I want to remove. So I can just click and remove the sources. But let's just leave it at that. And we have influence on stock market valuations. There is an immediate market reaction as DeepSeek R1's model has already caused substantial market turbulence. And Microsoft just had a 6% fall in the shares. As for Amazon, they had a 5% drop in their shares when DeepSeek R1 was announced. And these numbers are huge. Now it even gives you the long-term valuation considerations like market expectations. But our actual answer lies in the conclusion. So the conclusion is the rise of DeepSeek presents both challenges and opportunities for Amazon and Microsoft. And you can see here, there is a risk that these companies may face declining stock valuations due to increased competition. But again, in this video, I'm not advising you financially. This is just a use case that we're testing from R1. And it did a pretty good job at that. We have the complete clean reasoning that it went through 34 sources and dead. And I'm pretty happy with this. Now, my next question is really crucial and important for me and people like me who work in the tech industry. So the question is about how we can survive in the tech industry when AI can even create whole softwares. So we have the question based on current trends, 
what should be the tech oriented skills and certifications one should get to be able to land a 300k job in a year give me a list of the roadmaps in descending order with highest return also mention why choose this roadmap so this is a question about decision making for your career so i'm just gonna go and ask our one let's see the answer so it went on search the current trends in tech oriented skills from these 37 sources then compiled a list of roadmaps for tech skills and certifications so we have that here so the answer is roadmap for high paying tech careers one is cloud computing certifications so aws google cloud and microsoft certified cloud is the best if you want to go with it and why you should choose it because cloud computing remains a cornerstone of modern it infrastructure so even if ai is so powerful it needs cloud computing and servers to actually train more powerful ais then the next one is cybersecurity. Cybersecurity has been a really popular career because no one wants their security compromised and handed over to ai and they have the average salary which is around 168k and if you scroll down you have around 171k as well so these are basic average salaries but with your skill set you can even command more now the third one is artificial intelligence and machine learning of course in this age of ai everything is going to be around ai and this is how this list goes on with six roadmaps from which you can choose and personally i think this is a way cleaner response as compared to any reasoning model out there it went to 37 sources gather the information from all of these websites here and then gave us a reasoned answer so i was really happy about the news that perplexity now has r1 and the best part is it is hosted in the united states so this means that you don't have to worry about your information being leaked so that's it for this video this was just a quick walkthrough of how powerful perplexity just gotten with r1 added to its arsenal i hope this video is helpful if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video till then stay curious and keep exploring